Welcome back, everybody. It is Wednesday, halfway through the week. We're almost there, folks. Here is Fords 5 and 6. Pretty much halfway through our challenge as well after this board. I left you with this yesterday. What did you want to open? Well, I mean, this could go every different way. Uh, I I love opening one no Trump so much. You guys know this, but I'm just terribly worried about missing a major suit fit when I see a hand like this. So I'm not going to open a no Trump and fear it go all pass when partner has like a seven count with a four card major, right? You, you really fear the times where they have a response to a one level opening bit of a suit, but they don't have enough for stamen or a major suit uh, exploration over your no Trump bid. So to avoid that, you just go ahead and open a diamond and <laughs> you get to play one diamond. Nice. Okay. Uh, if you open a no Trump, take a look. Terrible, right? They're going to pass for sure, right? Unless they somehow are heroic and transfer you to diamonds. This is a hand that we are so, so happy we did not open one no trump. And this is uh, kind of going to be a fun hand to play, I hope. Uh, let's take a second. Get a lay of the land here, folks. You can pause it and uh, plan for as long as you like. I'm going to play pretty quickly as usual. And so here, the difference between the hand we left off with yesterday and this one is we are trumping or we are going to trump spades at least on this hand in the long hand right we may trump clubs in the short hand for sure right but we are not in a rush to trump spades that's the one key thing a lot of you just love roughing right and honestly it's kind of cool right so you get to the bit you void spades and dummy and you rough a bunch of spades but let me tell you unless you can do it a whole bunch of times when you rough in the long hand you gain absolutely zero tricks every time you do that. But every time you rough in the shorthand, you gain one trick each time and every time, right? So that's why we try to do it in the shorthand more than the longhand. Here, the robots can kind of predict what we're going to try to do. They're leading some Trump, right? So we'll win the Ace of Diamonds. And here, we still want to get to the business of playing some clubs, right? Because two reasons. Number one. This is a nice deceptive play. Uh, I plan to play the jack, and if they duck, I'm going to play the king, right? I'm hoping they're going to duck the ace, thinking I'm finessing for the queen instead. You want to make these plays early so you put them to the test when they have less information. If you wait till the very end to make a play like this, they might already know what's going on and have better information. So here we make this play early, but we're making it early for a second reason. We're making it early because we want to rough some clubs in our hand, and if we have to draw three rounds of trump, we're not going to be able to rough enough if clubs are really bad for us, meaning the ace is in the east player's hand, right? So let's test this out first. We, oh, yeah, winner, winner. Okay, so beautiful, right? Not only do we get to actually uh, score our king of clubs, now we get to start the process of taking a little, taking a little rough a doodle here. Now here, guys, I'm going to rough in the long hand, but why am I doing it? I know I just went through this whole diatribe about don't rough in the long end. You don't gain any tricks. But what am I doing this for? There's only one reason. I need a transportation trick, right? I need to be able to get to that dummy to rough another club. And Okay, so now it doesn't matter, right? Now the diamonds are dividing evenly, folks. The, the urge or the, the urgency to rough that club is gone. Right now, we know that Queen of Diamonds will always rough that club, so no big deal. I am I was hoping to be honest that it was breaking poorly because we were still in great position to handle it. We rough a spade, rough a club, rough a spade, either draw Trump or maybe place King of Hearts in a heart. But I mean, maybe we'd lose out in that spot anyway. But here, we're just getting the best of all worlds. Trump is drawn in two rounds, and now we have no other way to play hearts but Ace King in a heart. And they break evenly, so it's an embarrassment of riches. My goodness, we're going plus 150 in a cl in a minor suit contract, two hands in a row. This is terrible. We gotta start bidding these games, guys. What's up with us? All right, so that's plus 150. Um, again, you should expect that to be a very other than the play. The play might be different, but the bidding itself, the robot should be in the same exact contract there. All right, so that's board five. Here comes board six. Normal 12 count. We just open our longest suit. Do not, uh, some of you might see this and go, hey, I'm going to open a diamond so I can rebid two clubs. That is, it's a neat trick that people think about, but it is usually not the right way to bid these hands. Just bid your longest suits usually first and deal with issues when they come up. Uh, this is a nice issue to have. Partner is showing, hey, I have support for your clubs 
and at least a good ten or more. And they're also denying a four card major. This is the inverted minor suit raise. And let's just let's just make sure. <laughs> so, yeah, no four card major, good ten or more. But remember, this is a best hand tournament, so they have at most twelve. So make your bid, make your bid in in this uh, situation. What would you do with the sink? This is kind of a good news, bad news situation. We have an, an amazing club fit, right? I, you would expect, uh, if especially a partner has like the ace of clubs, you, you would expect to take five clubs on this hand always, and maybe more if partner has more length. Uh, but you're on the minimum side of things, right? You have a 12 count, and your major suit holdings leave quite a bit to be desired, including the fact that partner doesn't have four of them, right? Uh, so this is a spot where if you had a better hand, in my opinion, you would bid two spades just to show that you have uh, a stopper in the spade suit and you're kind of denying or, or tending to deny a stopper in the heart suit, right? So you're trying to find no trump. But when you have a minimum, and in this case, we have the luxury of knowing partner also cannot have more than 12, you show your minimums by just proceeding to the three level of your uh, minor suit. And here partner kicks it into four no, this is such torture look at these scores above us plus 150 plus 150 is this is this the the bridge gods or the robot guys just taunting us with a five of a minor uh game here uh, it's kind of crazy uh it is weird that it says 13 to 17 which means they have some shape right but what is their shape i love this hand for a club game but but let me tell you why i mean i don't love it i don't love the robot making these bids first of all because i honestly have no idea what they have they i could be loving it or i could be hating it when dummy comes down but let's just notice that it sounds like we have a really good fit and partner has some extra shape right if they're short in diamonds really good for us if they're short in one of the majors it would be kind of a shock because the opponents have been silent here but maybe they just have kind of balanced values and hands that they just can't take calls with i, I mean i don't know this is a total guess with the robot um, and it's such a weird auction. I kind of wish I bid two spades now. Maybe we could have bailed out at three now. Uh, but I don't know. I, I, I'm I tempted to pass. I'm tempted to bid five clubs. I'm basically flipping a coin in my head. And here's the key. The, the, the really weird thing is the three club bid should show a minimum. I, I suppose it doesn't for the robots. Maybe, maybe they don't understand it as this because look, it still has 12 to 22. So maybe this is going to change my mind. Uh, my thought process here would be if I bid three clubs, I'm supposed to be showing a minimum hand, meaning I don't really have interest in exploring game with what I know so far. So partner bidding four clubs in response to that should be an even better hand. But looking at this where it's still unlimited, I now am more tempted to pass. And that's just because my hand is still a minimum. I love my club fit, but I'm up. I hope I'm not wrong. Uh, looks like I am not wrong. <laughs> we might not make four. <laughs> but three no. Mm. Three no has a lot of play, guys. Look at that. Look at the play on this one. If the diamond finesse is winning, uh, three no is pretty good, right? Because we get six clubs. The ace of spades is seven and two diamonds. But let's let's keep our fingers crossed for that diamond finesse to just be terrible. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna win this in dummy. Uh, and we'll take the ace of clubs. There's, I don't know why I drew two rounds of trump there. I didn't even need to. Ooh, okay. That's bad for us as far as no trump is concerned. Uh, here, we'll just try to take a bunch of match points. Yeah, there we go. Here's an extra spade pitch for us. Yeah, we're going to cross over the ace of spades. That was a roughing finesse we just took. If you guys... Uh, I, I went relatively quickly there sorry i just played the nine of diamonds out of my hand fully intending to pitch a spade no matter what happens but they covered with the 10 so now i just get to win my ace of spades and pitch that nine of spades on the eight of diamonds and now i am just gonna lose two heart tricks i'll lead them just to see if they want to and do something weird but they will not that's uh unfortunately guess what guys <laughs> We're in a minor suit hand and making plus 150 again. So three in a row of that particular number. Uh, we chose clubs this time, though, so we mixed it up a little bit. But honestly, when you look at this hand, do you really want to be playing game? Especially, um, you know, on, on, on any diamond loss in a spade lead, you're not just uh, not making five. You're not making four. A uh, little unlucky that no Trump is so good. 
Uh, so I mean, uh, we'll see what our, our robot opponents do on this one. But it's kind of funny. I mean, I, I have to think of a long, long list of bridge to see three minor shoot contracts going plus 150 in a row. So um, once I said it last last time we were doing this, we got to start bidding these games, guys. But uh, we'll, we'll try our, our best to bid those games tomorrow and Friday. Two days left, four boards left to go. Who knows where we are? We'll find out on uh, on Friday, guys. But join me for the rest of this. If I don't see you today in the quiz class, I hope to see you at some of these tables out there. I have a weekend game coming up that you guys can sign up for. It's free for the first week for sure. And uh, other games and classes at bridgelesson.com. So don't forget to check those out. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.